Hello, in this video, I want to take a look at the refresh data async method in the Tableau JavaScript API. This particular method allows you to refresh your Tableau dashboard on, for example, a timer. Now, I got this particular idea from a comment I received on one of the videos that I did around embedding Tableau and using um, React. Now, um, this particular user is asking how to use the refresh data async methods and in combination with the set interval option. Now, in this case, Amit is um, thinking along the right lines to use the set interval option and then to periodically um, refresh the dashboard. Now, in this video, I want to take a look at how to actually do that. And what I've done is I quickly created a Tableau dashboard. Actually, this is a, a default Tableau dashboard. And what I've done here is we can see in the title of one of the sheets, uh, you can put in the refresh time. So this is the, the latest uh, time a data source was refreshed. Um, this is just a native functionality that you can add to a Tableau dashboard. And uh, what we want to do is uh, to refresh this particular dashboard. A good use case for this would be, for example, in an office environment where you have the Tableau dashboard being publicly displayed. Now, um, a few things to mention up front here is that um, what you will do with refreshing this will refresh the whole dashboard. So if you're familiar with Tableau, you'll see a little spinning wheel appearing. Um, you can't do this refreshing on individual sheets in Tableau. Um, I would also recommend to not set the refresh rate um, too low of too frequent in this instance. Um, what you can do is you can set it to any variable that you want. So you can say, let's refresh this every two or three seconds. Uh, it will refresh every two or three seconds, but the this, as we will see in a bit, will become a little bit unresponsive. So ideally, you could set this to say like a minute or maybe a five minute interval because it's also taking up Tableau server or Tableau online uh, resources. But let's take a look at how to actually um, do this uh, refreshing. So on the left hand side, I have a, um, a JavaScript file open and I have an index.html file where I have a start and a stop button, which we will use in a bit. Um, and I'm basically have a this container. So if you followed any of my previous videos um, and I'll link some of them in the description, you will see that this is the way to, to use the JavaScript API with Tableau. So if I go into the um, app.js, um, the actual method of refresh data async is something that is on the actual this. So you, so you do that on the this element, which is basically this whole entity that you see here. Now, how do I know that? Um, again, um, reading the documentation. So if we go to the reference guide of the API, um, of the JavaScript API, we can type in the refresh um, and then we can see refresh data async. And as the description already says, it's equivalent to clicking on the refresh toolbar button. So rather than having to manually click on that, you can basically do any other option for this. Um, so you could also do it whenever a new data load is, for example. Um, but yeah, that's um, the refresh data async method is on the actual this object. So how we can set this up is basically doing the following setup. And we're going to use um, a um, method that's um, an, um, a window that's on the window, sorry. <laughs> um, and uh, that is set interval. So set interval allows you as, as the actual documentation from MDN says, um, to execute a particular function or code snippet um, and call that repeatedly. And that is what we want to do. So let's see how we can set that up. And um, we're gonna, it's fairly straightforward in this instance to immediately start it refreshing. So we start type in set interval. And set interval um, takes a minimum of two parameter parameters. The first one is um, a function or a callback. So we can do an inline function here. And then we can basically say, let's actually log. So we can say console.log and saying, um, refreshing. 
And then we can see in the console that it's refreshing. We will also see that in the timer. And now we want to use this dot and then we can see, say refresh data async, especially uh, exactly how it's um, being set in the documentation, refresh data async. And that's all the methods that we actually need for refreshing a whole Tableau dashboard. Now this set interval, um, we also need to tell it how often to do that. So if we go and do a comma and we say every 3000 milliseconds. So that is three seconds. So this will now start refreshing every three seconds. So I'm going to hit save on my, uh, in my JavaScript file, it's going to refresh the page. Let's take a look. So we can already see now the time is updating. So 34, we can actually inspect this by going into the, um, the uh, console. Now you can see it's, it says refreshing, you can see two, and we'll say three. So every three seconds, it's now refreshing. Okay. Well, ideally, you don't really want to do that. Because uh, what that will do is the moment the page is being loaded, it starts refreshing. And as you can see, if I now hover over, it becomes a little bit in, um, unresponsive, like you can see it as like a refresh um, button. So what we'll do is uh, let's comment this out. And uh, we want to make these start and stop buttons work. Now, in order to do that, what we need to do is first of all, create a variable, which are going to hold the um, basically the set interval, and we're going to call that, um, let's call this the refresh interval, doesn't really matter how you call it. And that's um, basically we have initialized variable and now we're going to set it to something. Um, and basically what we want to say is, whenever someone hits start, we want to start refreshing the dashboard. So we're going to create a function called uh, refresh, um, what we call it data source, for example. And that function, what needs to happen is first of all, it needs to tell us that it's going to start uh, refreshing. Okay. Then we want to say, we have this refresh interval, and we want to set that equal to the set interval. And then exactly the same as what we did down here. So we can say, um, let's copy this bit. And also this one. And then the last thing that we need to do is tell it how often. So let's also set this to like 3000 seconds. You can see it's refreshing the page, but it's not actually refreshing uh, the data source anymore or the dashboard, because that's basically we haven't told it to do that. So we also want to create something that actually stops it from executing. So we're going to say function stop the refresh. And once we have the, um, the function created, we are going to say console.log and say stop the refresh. Okay. Next step, and that is to actually clear this particular interval. So first we set it to something, it starts refreshing, and then the next step is to actually stop it. So we're going to say clear, and then we can clear the interval. And which interval do we want to clear in this case? Um, the uh, the refresh one. So there we go. Now I hit save and it refreshes again uh, the page, but not the data source, of course. And now we need to hook that up to these two buttons on the top where it says start and stop. So in order to do that, we need to do is first of all, let's take a look at, yes, I've given these an ID of start and stop. So that's a way to um, grab them. So I'm going to say document dot get element by ID. And then we're going to say start. And what needs to happen? Well, if someone clicks on it, so we need to add an event listener, we want to run a function, which is our refresh data source. Okay. So that's basically start is working. Now, let me duplicate this. And in VS Code, you can duplicate lines really quickly. Uh, I'm going to say stop. And then we want to run the stop refresh function. Okay, so uh, this is the interval that we're setting up in the refresh data source. So that's the moment we're going to click on the start button, it's going to execute this particular function. 
Now that function is gonna start refreshing. It's gonna do that every 3000 milliseconds, every three seconds. Now, when someone actually clicks on stop, so that's that particular button, it's gonna stop it. So let's hit save. Let me clear the console of all of these warnings. And there we go. And now I'm gonna hit start. Now you're gonna say it's, see it's going to restart refreshing and now it has refreshed it. So you can see it every three seconds, it is now refreshing. So that's great, let's do it another two times maybe. 15 and it should go to, there we go, to 18 and let's hit stop. And now if we hit stop the refresh, you can see it has actually stopped it and it has cleared the interval. So this is a, a way to um, kind of programmatically um, on a timer refresh your Tableau dashboards. Again, as I said in the beginning of this video, um, please take care that this is taking up um, Tableau server or Tableau online resources and refreshing this every three seconds um, is not really best practice. Um, I would actually say do this every maybe five minutes or so if you want this to be refreshed. Um, I would also highly discourage you from, from setting it to like one second or something. Your uh, dashboard will become um, like you can't use it. So, but it is a great way to um, basically play with um, kind of this particular part of the API. Okay, thanks for listening and uh, we'll um, see you in a next video.